Life is a journey, a series of starts and stops, comings and goings, departures and destinations. The same is true in the life of a congregation. Things change, people come and go, including the minister. Intentional interim ministry is a powerful, positive process that helps congregations clarify identity and the way forward when a pastor leaves, supporting a faith community by serving as, well, a roadmap, guiding them as they prepare to call their new senior clergy, helping them get ready for the next step in the journey. The biblical story is all about journey, of God's people discovering God's will and purpose for them. Abraham, Moses, Deborah, Jesus, Paul, and Phoebe all were on journeys of hope and wholeness, faithfully seeking and following God's direction. Calling new clergy is a journey of hope and wholeness too, a journey the intentional interim ministry process has helped thousands of congregations around the world navigate since the 1960s. The intentional interim ministry process helps congregations share their feelings and create a spirit of excitement about the future. Even though it's been updated through the years to meet the needs of today's faith communities, the heart of the work remains the same, clarifying identity. When a minister leaves, it's a whole new world for a faith community and a perfect opportunity to discover who we are and what God wants us to be now. But how do congregations get from here to here? It all begins here. When a pastor leaves, the congregation comes to a detour. Intentional interim ministry helps us move in the right direction by exploring five key elements of healthy faith communities. Heritage, mission, leadership, connections, and future. Every faith community is shaped by its past. The interim is a time to understand history and celebrate heritage. The intentional interim ministry process helps congregations get clear about what stays behind and what comes into the future. This is also the time to grieve, to bring closure with the former minister, and let go of old expectations, wounds, and patterns, so a new minister can be fully embraced. It's healthy for faith communities to periodically review where they're going and why. In the interim, this process helps congregations look at why we exist, the mission statement, what we aim to accomplish, the vision statement, and how we live vision and mission day to day, our core values. Leadership is action, not a person. The interim is the perfect time to talk about expanding the leadership base, reassessing professional staffing needs, and updating documents such as bylaws and job descriptions. Connections is all about a congregation's relationships with a community and denomination. A time to ask who is passionate about these relationships? How are we seen as a local citizen? How are missions monies collected? And what do we support? The whole point of this discovery process? To blaze a trail to a new future together. To develop accurate, spirit-centered, congregational and pastoral profiles that represent who we are here and now and fulfill God's purpose for us preparing us for the next step in the journey, calling a new pastor. Life in a congregation is a journey of the heart and spirit, being open to the will of God. That's what intentional interim ministry is all about, working with congregations in a relevant way to build a bridge from the past into the future, helping you emerge from the self-discovery process as an even stronger and more effective faith community. And it works. A nine-year study of hundreds of congregations and thousands of lay leaders and clergy revealed that two years after participating in the process, more than 90% of the congregations remain healthy, 
and would recommend the process. Is your congregation calling a new pastor and ready for an exciting and empowering journey of discovery? Go to healthychurch.org to learn how the intentional interim ministry process can help you.